Okay, you guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my healthy and productive morning routine. Obviously, not every single morning is like this, but this is what I do on most mornings when I'm feeling good. One of the first things that I like to do in the morning is write in my five minute journal because it just like starts the day on the perfect note and it just like makes me so happy to do it because it just makes me realize to be grateful. So if you guys don't know what the five minute journal is, which I've like shown this in so many of my videos, but just in case you're new, it has like a spot where you write what you're grateful for, what would make today great, daily affirmations, and it also has a quote up at the top, which I like to dissect and read every day. And then at night, you write three amazing things that happened today and how could I have made today even better so it's basically just like a reflection gratitude journal for every single day if I'm not good to myself how can I expect anyone else to be good to me this is so true you have to treat yourself like you'd want people to treat you so be nice to yourself always be kind to yourself but don't beat yourself up just because you're you like you would never do that something like that to your best friend so why would you do that to yourself a lot of the times we can be so down on ourselves ourselves and think of everything that we hate about ourselves but flipping the switch on that and nurturing and loving ourselves is going to make the biggest difference so it asked me for a daily affirmation and i like to just like search them up and pick one that like i like that day so today i'm gonna write i am able to choose my attitude and outlook if you want to wake up on the right side of the bed then wake up on the right side of the bed it's not something that happens it's something that you choose it's a mindset because there's that saying obviously like oh i didn't wake up on the right side of the bed today or whatever but it's like you decide if you woke up on the right side of the bed you can wake up and think positive things and start being happy or you can wake up and start thinking negative things and being upset it's all up to you you're the only one who has control of your own mind okay so just finish the gratitude journal and now the next thing that i get up and do is brush my teeth because i have my retainer in right now you couldn't tell by my little list i have with it <laughs> One of the first things that I have to do when I wake up is like brush my teeth. Like the only thing that I'll ever do before that is just like check my phone quickly and write in my gratitude journal. Like anything else, I refuse to do before I brush my teeth. I will not drink a sip of water. I will not walk downstairs. I will not walk anywhere from my room to the bathroom without brushing my teeth in the morning because I just feel disgusting if I don't do it. To whoever who's watching this video and can drink coffee or water or eat before brushing their teeth, props to you because I, I cannot do that. Like my body refuses to let me. And I think it's also because like I wear a retainer and that just makes me feel even more gross. Like I need to take it out and clean. Yeah, if you guys are curious on the toothpaste I use, I've never seen anybody show their toothpaste, but hey, I use this one. <laughs> It's just an extreme white toothpaste. I like to use toothpaste that like whitens my teeth, even though if it doesn't actually do anything, it makes me think that it does. So anyways. Okay, so after I brush my teeth, I don't wash my face in the morning, like with cleanser. The most that I'll do is just like rinse it with water, rinse my eyes out, but I don't wash my face in the morning just because I feel I don't my face like doesn't feel dirty in the morning for some reason. I just don't feel the need to wash it. And obviously now that I have eyelash extensions on, I like them out every morning i'm so glad that i'm not a stomach sleeper because if you're a stomach sleeper you can like really tangle up your eyelashes and ruin them i like to sleep on my back and my side comment down below if you're a stomach sleeper or like a back sleeper or side like let me know it's kind of interesting okay so in the morning usually what i'll just do is i'll just put like a 30 spf on and this is just a random aveeno one that i use and i don't really suggest it because it has fragrance in it and i didn't realize when i bought it but i didn't want to waste it so i mean i'm sure it's like good otherwise to use but i just don't like to use things with fragrance because it's not the best for your skin so after i'm done this i'm definitely not going to be repurchasing it but it's just like a moisturizer a daily moisturizer and it has 30 spf so i usually will just apply this but my all-time favorite sunscreens is the 
Australian gold face sunscreen. These are the ultimate best things ever. And they have a really high UVA protection, which protects you from like the anti-aging rays. But straight in the morning, like when I just wake up, I don't really feel like putting a tinted sunscreen on my face. This is usually like more of a midday thing when I reapply, I'll put it on. But right away in the morning, I just like to put a moisturizer on because it's just like a lot lighter for the skin. Oh, also forgot to take off this pink patch. So those are the pimple patches that I use. They're literally the best pimple patches ever. Like they will suck everything out of your pimple, I swear to you. And they're only $5 for the whole pack. And it comes with like 24, so that's really good. Welcome to the meditation stretching corner. Before we get into this part of the video, I would like to thank Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. This is their sports bra that I've been literally wearing nonstop for the past couple weeks. Because <laughs> um, it is just so comfortable. I should probably wash this shit because I've been wearing it a little bit too often. Okay, I just want to come on here and say thank you to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I'm literally obsessed. So they sent me this blouse along with this sports bra. It's seamless and it just is so comfortable. They also sent me these hair scrubs and they come in a whole bunch of like different sizes and using silk on your hair is so much better for your hair and they also gave me this silk pillowcase listen up I used to sleep on a, like a normal pillowcase just a cotton one I think the material was just a plain old normal pillowcase and then I started hearing that silk pillowcases actually have benefits and I was like very interesting from using it this is what I have noticed that has like improved this is actually the tea so one of the benefits that like I've noticed from using a silk pillowcase is that it doesn't take my skincare products off when I go to bed because with my old pillowcase I used to do like my whole skincare regimen and my whole skincare routine which includes like a lot of face oils moisturizers and stuff and when I went to bed I would literally just feel it like rubbing off on my pillow and in the morning my pillow would be kind of like oily and wet in a weird way it was literally just transferring onto my pillowcase rather than actually soaking into my skin but by using my silk pillowcase i'm not even joking you when i say this it does not transfer whatsoever i feel like i can just do my whole skincare regimen and then go right to bed and it's fine like it's gonna stay and soak into my skin rather than getting absorbed into my old pillowcase silk also retains moisture whereas like cotton my old pillowcase it would like absorb it so another thing that i've noticed from using a silk pillowcase is how my hair does not like break or become frizzy in my sleep because when I used to use a cotton one like my old one I would wake up and my hair would just be disgusting like it would just be this big it would not feel so soft but as soon as I started using a silk pillowcase I'm not even joking you I wake up and my hair is literally silkier than when I went to bed honestly it feels like it adds moisture into my hair silk pillowcases are also really good for your allergies because they kind of like repel dust and stuff I get eczema on my face occasionally and I found that sleeping with a silk pillowcase Case is so much more soothing for it if you have eczema you know that like the clothing you wear even you have to be very specific with the products you use and using silk bedding in general like not just a pillowcase but using silk bedding is just so good for hygiene because it actually like repels dust and disgusting dirt instead of absorbing it like cotton would also sleeping in silk is just so much better for you because it regulates your temperature and this is like another benefit that i haven't seen firsthand but is like a benefit of uh sleeping on a silk pillowcase because it's about anti-aging so it's supposed to prevent anti-aging i mean i'm pretty young and i'm not really sure how much it has prevented because i haven't like seen it firsthand like i'm not going to go and tell you i see one less wrinkle on my face because i don't but it is like proven that it is anti-aging i definitely want to do as much as possible for anti-aging as i can at my age also this mulberry silk can last up to 15 to 20 years and that is a long ass time okay because my cotton pillowcases get nasty i need to replace them like every few months i feel like if you guys want to go check them out i'll put my coupon code that you guys can use on the screen right here and also everything will be linked down in the description and yeah thank you again for lily silk for sponsoring this video okay so in the morning if you guys watched my previous videos i was out of my routine of doing meditation and doing yoga and it just didn't make me feel so good because that literally is what wakes me up in the morning helps me start my day off right so what i like to do is i'll just listen to high frequency music and you can just get it off of youtube and i like to put that in when i'm stretching i don't do anything like particular for stretching i just kind of do whatever way my body wants to stretch is how i do my stretching <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, so now that I'm done my stretching, I'll do about five minutes to 10 minutes, just depending on how much I feel like doing it that day. I listen to my body a lot. So as for meditation goes, I use the app Calm. It's like the best for meditations and they also have a whole bunch of soundscapes. So it's really, really handy. Like everything is in the app. You can also write down like your gratitude in the app and everything, like it's really good. But what I like to do is they have a daily meditation that they do. So it's something different every day and it's 10 minutes. And that's what I love doing. Okay, so for those who don't know what meditation is or have never heard me speak about it before, if you're new here, like, oh, my voice is like so raspy, it's mine. <clears throat> I used to think that meditation was like just for hippies and I'm like I would never do meditation like what even is that and then I started actually learning about it and hearing more about it at the end of the day meditation is literally just clearing your mind allowing your mind just to have a break from constantly thinking all day we're constantly worrying we're constantly thinking we're constantly having something going on in our mind like have you ever been in a moment where you're not thinking probably not so what meditation just does is it basically just lets your mind relax and not focus on anything drop all your stress drop all your worries and just be in the present moment your sole purpose in meditation is just to breathe and it's also a good muscle to start training in your brain because if you find yourself stressing overthinking or worrying you can turn your meditation muscle on and it'll completely help you de-stress and just clear your mind so that's how i interpret meditation and that's what i do it for and it is like the most calming experience it's just so good at first it's going to be hard to completely like not think because your mind is literally always brewing shit out of your ass to think about so at first it's going to be a little hard but once you keep practicing it like it's something you got to practice to like get good at it's like training the muscle like I said essentially so once you do get good at it it's the best practice if you're contemplating it just try it and see how you like it we're gonna walk Okay guys, so I just went on a walk with Zeus. I like to try and do this as many mornings as I can. I don't do it every single morning because sometimes it's way too hot even in the morning to walk and then we both end up overheating. So this morning was like, okay, I mean it was, I think it was only like 20 something degrees so it's not bad at all. But I do definitely like to get my walks in in the morning just because, just in case like I don't get out any other time during the day. At least like I did that in the morning and also the weather is cooler in the morning and it's gonna get like hot during the day so you definitely don't want to take your dog on a walk when it's like over 30 degrees so now when i come back i'm usually thirsty so but i make sure that every single morning or most mornings i make sure that i have like a cup of water before i have any food or anything just to like make sure that at least i'm getting a bit of hydration in. and i don't know just drinking water first thing i feel like it just cleanses you i don't know that's my theory okay you guys so now it's smoothie time and i got off my smoothie grind for like a while but now i'm back on it and i'm making sure to add all of like nutrition into it just because i was really lacking having just like fruit or vegetables something green in the day but we're back on track and i kind of got my smoothie recipe now down pat so the first thing that i'll throw in is just spinach and i'll just put like a little handful of that in so just like that much i don't really measure anything to a tea it kind of tastes a tiny bit different every day to be honest just because like sometimes i'll just use different fruit yeah it just depends and then i'll put half a frozen banana and then i'll just use really what whatever fruit we have in the freezer at the time. I'm not really picky on the kind of fruit that I use. Okay, so the next thing that I put in is this silk oat plain yogurt. And it's actually really good for like a vegan yogurt. It has like no sugars added or anything. So I don't think I would ever eat this like plain, if you know what I mean, because it's like bland. It just tastes like literal plain yogurt. But adding it to a smoothie obviously makes it a lot better and like creamy. So let's put like three spoons of that inside. And then the next thing I'll put in is this Teamy Green Superfood Blend. It has matcha, spirulina, wheatgrass, kale powder, a whole bunch of good shit for you. And it makes me feel like I'm getting more of my nutrients in. And this also does have a tiny bit of caffeine in it just because of the matcha powder. So it's nice like to have a tiny bit of caffeine at the beginning of the day before I have like my coffee. And it also has like no sugar added. It has like nothing except for pure green shit. And then to make up for the loss of sugar, I'll add a tiny bit of maple syrup just because I feel like sometimes my smoothie doesn't end up sweet enough just because this powder is very green. You kind of need to add some sweetness to it. And then I'll just put any plant-based milk that I have at the moment inside. And that's literally it. 
that's basically it. So I like to over blend it if anything, because I literally can't stand if things are under blended, like chunky. Mm, that's like extra good today. It literally takes me like five minutes to make this every morning. Okay, so this is just going to be as unrealistic as possible. And in the morning, usually the dishwasher needs to be unloaded. So after I like make my smoothie, I will unload the dishwasher. The Hold on. Normally, I'm the one who does the dishwasher, wouldn't it? Oh, fuck. I'm serious. No, we do it together sometimes. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. I was just trying to... You're triggering me. You're triggering me. She tried to take full full credit for that right there. I'm just saying that I do the dishwasher at least 50%. Make sure you're doing the dishwasher this way, right? You're not going to help? I think I'm in control. Okay, so I just finished the dishwasher. I'm just drinking my smoothie now. So what I kind of like to do before I like really start my work is just kind of go through my emails and respond and just figure out what I need to do for the day. And just so I can kind of make myself a little schedule and see what I have to get done and what I want to get done. And just kind of plan out my day first thing just so I know and I can stay on track. So that's just what I'm going to do while drinking this green smoothie. I made this like really good today. I'm impressed with myself. Hey guys, so I forgot to do an outro as usual, but I just wanted to come on here and say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I appreciate it so much. Leave any video requests that you guys have down below and do not forget to check out Lily Silk. I'll have everything linked in the description. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.